Hey, what's up? It's Vince Leah from VinceLeah.com, and I am here with Tony from Plant Based on a Budget. Hello. And we're here to talk to you about the recent documentary, What the Health. Now, Tony, you were in What the Health recently. Mm -hmm. And can you tell us a little bit about your role and how they found you and what it was like just doing the, the film? And then we'll go ahead and get into five tips that we learned after watching the film. Uh, so I know uh, Keegan mm -hmm. and through Keegan, I met Kip. And uh, when they were considering doing this film, they reached out to me and they didn't know what it was gonna be called at the time. They were like, Optimum Health. And I, I was like, okay, they said I wanna take you grocery shopping and have us talk about the misconceptions about uh, being vegan and how it can be expensive. So I went grocery shopping with them and then so much time went by that I kind of forgot about it. And they were like, okay, we're getting ready to launch. Be prepared because there's gonna be a lot of interest. And I was like, uh, okay. And so I didn't do anything. And my website blew up. Like afterward, it crashed my server. After it was put on Netflix, when they said be prepared, they actually meant be prepared. I was totally unprepared. My server was blown up. I had these like rat cards that were for sale. And they were five dollars each and i created them specifically for activists vegan activists to to leaflet so that when they hear it's too expensive they can give something out yeah. and on the first day i sold like i don't think people even knew what they were buying because i don't think everyone wants to give out rack cards <laughs> i think they thought they were wrestling cards but i had like maybe a hundred sales <laughs> on rack cards and i I was like, what's happening to my website? I don't know what to do. And so it's been really positive and it has introduced thousands of people to plant-based eating on, only to like to me. Yeah. So I can't imagine who's going to Dr. Greger or um, all the other doctors featured. Yeah, yeah that's so, great. Yeah, it's been, it's been a wild an amazing ride. All right, so let's get into the five things that you need to know about what the health. Number one, the role that food can play in your overall health. I think we all learned as a kid and heard the phrase, better make sure you eat your fruits and veggies. And I think there's a lot of power to that and understanding that the foods you eat can actually help reverse some chronic conditions you may be facing, whether it's lowering your cholesterol, uh, preventing heart disease, and just other factors that you may not be aware of. The reason I started Plant Based on a Budget was because my family was suffering from diet-related health issues like type 2 diabetes and heart issues, and it caused me so much pain, and I wanted to offer them something. I'd been thriving on a plant-based diet for years, and every time I explained the benefits to my parents, they were like, what about the cost? Yeah. And I wanted them to know that because you don't have a lot of money to spend on food or may not want to spend a lot of money on food doesn't mean that you have to suffer and you can still choose healthy options that are that, that ha people have been thriving on for centuries and have them be the cheapest foods available like yeah. beans and rice and lentils so uh, yeah you can definitely heal your body and I've seen that within my own family people have gotten off of medications just through diet change Number two, educating people about preventing an illness. Now, I know we can't prevent everything out there and there are some things that you will need medication for, but I think educating people about how to prevent certain illnesses and conditions can actually go a long way in helping them live a healthier life. That's definitely true. And I think it's really important to not only educate certain communities or communities who can afford such, a, such education, but looking into education of nutrition and um, how to prepare food, healthy food, in lower income communities and communities of color because they also need help. Yeah, especially when you look at the food deserts that are all over the place as well. I mean, there's some people that just don't have access to healthy food. Mm -hmm. So educating them, they give them that motivation to actually go out and find it and bring it back and help spread that within the community. So number three is progress over perfection. And don't think so much about being perfect when you're eating. Maybe you're vegan or maybe you're not. Maybe you're just transitioning and want to eat healthier foods. Just every day learning and growing and knowing if you made a mistake, correcting it and moving forward. And a lot of people come to me, and I'm Italian, they go, don't you miss cheese, don't you miss pizza and pasta? And I'm like, no, I make my own cheese at home, out of cashews, you know, you could have pasta. And I actually have a recipe for quinoa meatballs that I did on the channel that tastes just like the meatballs I grew up with as a kid. I even gave them to my family. 
they were blown away how good these things tasted with no meat and even pizza you know you just add just take the cheese off when you go out and add a bunch of veggies on there mm -hmm. so just getting your mindset right and not worrying about being perfect but just making progress as you go I think is an important thing to remember. Yeah, I agree. My family, when they say, you know, I'm gonna try with meatless Mondays first, I'm like, okay, you're gonna go from eating meat and cheese every day to not eating it once a day, that's great. Then yeah. try twice a day, and then like three times a week, <laughs> and, and continuing on on that pro progress, and not beating yourself up when something that you ordered accidentally had cheese on it or something like that, and continuing on after that, and not being like, well, I tried, it was too hard, I tried, and like, uh, you can continue on and do a great job. Just don't beat yourself up because it is a little bit difficult sometimes to yeah. drop everything and like change the entire way you've learned about food to make your new decision and lifestyle. My journey was a progress. I didn't wake up and just go plant-based overnight. I mean, I gradually eliminated stuff. And, Same. And it's interesting how your taste buds actually change when you stop mm -hmm. eating a meat and dairy that you actually don't crave it as much as you think you did and you actually crave healthier options, yeah. which is a really good feeling. And I, I like that because I really set myself up for success. I knew that it wasn't just a temporary change for me, I wanted it to be a lifelong change. So by eliminating at a pace that I felt comfortable with, mm -hmm. set me up for a whole lifetime of healthy eating. Number four, the connection between some of the agencies that we go to for advice on how to live healthier and some of the money that they're getting from sponsors. Some of these agencies are getting money from Pizza Hut and Kentucky Fried Chicken and fast food places that we know aren't the healthiest for us, but yet they're being sponsored by them. So what are places where people can go that you found that are great resources for people that actually want to live healthier and incorporate more plant-based foods into their meals? Uh, they can check out Physicians Committee for Responsible Medicine. Dr. Barnard was featured in the film. Mm -hmm. Also, uh, nutritionfacts.org, which is Dr. Greger's. And on Dr. Greger's, he also has a list of resources and other other um, people to check out. And he also has a, a link on his contact form for where you can find um, plant-based health professionals in your area. So if you wanted to right. look into uh, doctors who support plant-based living, there are lots of options. And number five, I would actually like to see more studies done on the effects of incorporating more plant-based foods into people's lives. And I think it's important when you do see a study to look to see who's funding the study. Because sometimes certain companies and organizations are funding a study to get the results in a certain way. Yeah. So I think it's important to educate yourself about that. Yeah, and I would uh, take it a step further and just educate yourself in general. This is a baseline of information on this documentary and you can continue furthering that investigation and like gather all of the information because this is your health, this is your body and uh, it only treats you as good as you treat it. So talk to your doctor, get your blood work drawn and see what you're lacking in and uh, make better, more informed choices based on the information that you're gathering. Thanks for joining me today, Tony. Thank you for having me. I had a great time. <laughs> and you can find Tony on her website and I'll put all her social media links in the description box below so you can check out those and her resources. So I had a great time filming this video with you, Tony. And if you like this video, give it a big thumbs up. Leave me a comment. Let me know if you've seen What the Health or if you plan on seeing it and what your takeaways were from the documentary. Subscribe to the channel as I post new videos every week. And remember to keep living fit from food. And I'll talk to you soon. Bye.